The Mystery of the Oak Island Brick Factory by the Oak Island Compendium. Earlier this season, Compendium Investigations unveiled a mystery structure on Oak Island and mentioned an upcoming investigation about it. Our research indicates that this structure was identified by Fred Nolan as the Brick Factory. The Compendium received a picture of the structure that was taken in the mid-1970s by Danny Hennegar, a long-time Oak Island researcher and consultant to the Curse of Oak Island team. Danny, at the time of the picture, was a tour guide on the island. The structure was exposed and then covered up by Fred Nolan. It is the only known picture of the Brick Factory and an exclusive for our readers. This structure is located on Lot 9, which was one of Nolan's properties. Fred put the location on one of his treasure maps that he published, but otherwise was extremely secretive about its details. Unfortunately, Fred didn't think it factored into the grand scheme of the treasure hunt and it has been forgotten about over time. Compendium Investigations feels it. Is an important clue to the mystery. Why would anyone want to make bricks on Oak Island? Bricks were necessary in construction during the colonial period of Nova Scotia. Compendium Investigations has looked at specific time periods that seem to correspond with when bricks would have been made on Oak Island. The first period would be starting in the 1750s, when the British first began to settle around Mahone Bay and Lunenburg. This time matches the age of several artefacts unearthed on Lot 5 and other locations on the island. In the History of the County of Lunenburg by Judge Mather Biles Desbrise, it states, each family building a house was to receive from him materials not exceeding 700 feet of boards, 500 bricks, and a proportionate quantity of nails. Halifax had been producing brick for its building and expansion for four years, and most likely supplied the initial count. It would make sense that brick would become locally sourced as evidence shows. There was an abundance of clay for brick-making operations in the Mahone Bay area that included the Second Peninsula near Lunenburg and Clay Island. Many of the original homes in Chester had brick chimneys and fireplaces. The second time of renewed brick-making activity would have been after the Loyalists' arrival in the Mahone Bay area in the 1780s. In particular, Oak Island lot owner Alexander Patilla was involved with brickmaking and operating a lime kiln. Why Oak Island? Because it is perfect for brickmaking. The abundant clay on the island is the main ingredient. Also, plentiful wood is necessary for the burning events that took place during the process. All of the tree stumps in the swamp indicate that this was a probable source for the fueling of the kiln fires. It has been mentioned in previous seasons on the Curse of Oak Island that it appears that there were significant burn events in the past on the island. Fresh water is necessary for brickmaking, so this would explain why the swamp was artificially created. Evidence found this season on the Curse of Oak Island supports that there was a man-made manipulation of the swamp and a clearing of trees. Considering that an abundance of clay has been found at the eye of the swamp, all this evidence points to a large industrial operation on the island. Other ingredients needed for brick-making, depending on the type of brick, were ash, sand, shale in abundance on the island, hay, straw, or another interesting ingredient, coconut fibre. When used in the brick-making process, coconut fibre produced stronger bricks. Large amounts of coconut fibre have been found at Smith's Cove and the Money Pit area. To ret coconuts you need salt or brackish water and a pit. Is there any other evidence to support brick-making on Oak Island? Why, yes. On Lot 5 there appears to be the remnants of another brick kiln. This is the circular formation of stones that was discovered last season and has continued to be excavated in Season 11, producing some very interesting results. In Episode 14 this season, Rick and Mortar, archaeologist Jamie Cooper was working in the excavated site of the circular formation when she uncovered what appeared to be a crude type of cement or mortar that had ash and shale mixed with it. It was tested and determined to be an artificially made substance in soil from the money pit area. Since clay is also plentiful in that spot, and these other materials being key components for brick making, it appears that this material was harvested in the money pit and taken to lot 5 to be used to make bricks. While excavating in the southeast corner of the swamp, the Curse of Oak Island cameras caught a picture of a brick in the spoils. While excavating the stone path, archaeologist Aaron Taylor uncovered fragments of brick. Puddled clay is also a part of the brick-making process, and it has been found in large quantities in the money pit area. 
Other evidence associated with brickmaking includes ox shoes that have been found in large quantities on Oak Island that don't seem to be associated with farming. How were these oxen being worked? A team of oxen walking around a ring pit rotating a large wheel often was used to mix the mortar for the moulding of bricks. Oxen or horses were driven across the surface of clay pits for tempering. Oxen were used to pull carts filled with bricks that were transported on ships. Oxen would also be pulling carts filled with necessary heavy materials from one location to another on the island. To go along with brick making, lime making was also going on that utilised the abundance of limestone on the island. On lot 15, the remnants of a lime pit kiln were unearthed with large amounts of cracked rock. Initially, it was thought to be a pine tar kiln, but when no pine tar was found, the abundance of limestone piled around the structure indicated its real function. Interestingly, ox and horsehair were added to mortar to strengthen it. Could this be what was found under a Nolan's cross boulder on lot 10 that had the animal hair in it? Horse and ox hair were also used in lime plaster. At one point in history, Oak Island was the location of very busy industrial operations along with other more secretive activities. Please join us next week for our season finale investigation called The Mystery of the Oak Island Gold and Silver. Please visit www.theoakislandcompendium.com for this article and our other content regarding the Oak Island mystery. Good day from the compendium. Daniel and Charlotte, 